night on The Passionate Eye. A filmmaker returns to Iran and meets two memorable women. Women desperate for a better life than selling themselves to men. How far? As far as you want. That's not enough. I won't come back if you're going to be that way. Women longing for a brighter future for their children. seen you in a while. Where are you headed? How much? I need five or six dollars. Do you think I'm rich? Like a mullah? I fled from Iran after the revolution when the Shah was deposed. The population thought things would be better now. But then Islamic fundamentalists took over. Dissenters were imprisoned or executed. Some of us managed to escape. I fled to Sweden. The year was 1982. Seventeen years went by before I dared to return to Iran. I was shocked. The poverty and social injustice were much greater than when I left. I've been back several times since, and I always feel that hopelessness. One day I met Habib, who sold fortunes using parakeets. Fortune telling has become a common profession. The alternative to a strict god is a bird to tell your fortune. I told you to move along. I'm going. I'm going. Hurry it up. I will. I am. Who are you and why are you filming? We have a permit. Please don't tear up my fortunes. I have a permit, speak the language and wear a veil. But I'm still stopped by the Revolutionary Guard, the Islamic police. They make sure people follow Islamic law. Women must wear veils and can't shake hands with men. If a woman and a man walk together, they may be stopped by the guard. They have to prove they're married or related. I said move along. I'm going. I'm going. After a while, they let us go and force Habib to leave. I go home with Habib. He lives with ten other tenants. They live in tiny one-room flats with no water or toilets. Sleep, my baby, my little darling. Two women live here. Twenty-year-old Mina with her daughter Sarah and twenty-four-year-old Fariba with her son Mehran. I'm curious about Fariba's and Mina's lives, which could have been mine. If you don't take them for two days, do you get your period? I told you I'm not on the pill. I use condoms, never the pill. It doesn't work for me. Condoms can break, but the foreign ones are good. 
Have you seen them? They come in all sorts of flavors. Banana, strawberry. I love those. You really enjoy the smell while you're screwing. It's like real banana. But I always feel bad afterwards. When it's over and I leave their houses, my eyes fill with tears and I ask God, how long must I do this? How many men must I sleep with? How long must I live this way? Until I grow old? What can we do? We've sunk so low in the muck. We're at the bottom of the swamp and nobody is helping us up. Even the highest religious police chiefs are involved. When they arrest young runaway girls, they sleep with them before taking them into the station. I've slept with the chief of the religious police myself. He screwed me twice and gave me twenty dollars. He screwed me twice and gave me two tens. It was really rough. It was awful. I was with him for two hours, but first he read from the Koran. They ignore drug use, so young people won't revolt. If people protest, they're executed. When you're oppressed, like we are, of course you turn to drugs. You know Kasra, the cop? I was going to buy from him first. When I lived here, you rarely heard about drugs and never women users. Today, it's a big problem and not just in poor families. Most families have someone with a drug problem. The Iranian Revolution started as a dream of a better society. The enormous oil wealth would be distributed to the population. Democracy and freedom of speech would be implemented. But it didn't happen. Instead, a new religious upper class developed, and a bureaucracy fueled by bribes. Today, 25 years later, there are no dreams left. I don't feel so well right now. I was quite chipper this morning. You always feel guilty, both when you're high and when you're too broke to buy drugs. Everything's just one big guilt trip. I wished I was free from drugs and that my baby was happy. I've never had happiness, but I want her to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> 